16 years ago, I got that call, Doris, you have breast cancer. At that moment, my world just stopped. Within a couple of hours, I had friends that were calling me. And within a couple of hours from that, I had the most precious lady in the world reach out to me. That lady's name was Reba Raxdale. I was still living in Nebraska. My husband had made the move to College Station and he called me every night and that night he had just met Reba and he said, I met the most amazing woman today and he called her Ravishing Reba from that point forward, which is a great description of Reba. I think anyone that had a chance to meet and know Reba can really say that we were blessed because we knew her. We loved Reba and Reba loved us and she loved many. Years ago, I can remember seeing in the community this beautiful, classy looking woman with a scarf on. And I remember asking somebody, why, why is she wearing a scarf? And she was going through breast cancer treatments at the time. Fast forward probably 10 or 15 years later, I was diagnosed with breast cancer and Reba was one of the first people that reached out to me. She was bigger than life and she had this beautiful signature hairdo that she wore behind her. And you know, the greatest smile and loving personality that you ever knew. You know, with many planning sessions and many things that we had with Reba, she would always take charge of the meetings. She had her own way of doing things, and it was right. You could offer suggestions, but usually Reba was like, nope, this is the way we we're gonna do it, and it was always the right way to do it. She, she was just an amazing member of our team and an amazing leader in Pink Alliance. Reba had a phenomenal impact on anything she did. Let me just say that. Reba was part of what is now Pink Alliance. We started with a different name uh, and has been a force in that organization throughout uh, the history of Pink Alliance. She remained, uh, she was a founder and she remained on the board until her passing last October. If it were not for Reba Ragsdale, this organization would not be in our community. The idea was formed from the three of us, but she took it and ran. She handled the fundraising efforts, handled the PR, and just really got the, the message out, what we were trying to accomplish with Pink Alliance. She was the heart and soul of our organization. Um, just this last year, when we had our first surviving and thriving with her, Reba was at home. She was under hospice care at that time. We finished our event and all our board members, the eight of us, we loaded in our cars and we had to share our success with Reba. Um, and actually that was the last time we got to see Reba, but we were sharing with her all the little details and she was taking it all in. Reba loved life and she was passionate in anything that she did. Um, she, she loved connecting people and um, she was fiercely faithful to her friends and also her interest in, in standing tall as a breast cancer survivor. She was just a loving member of our community. She was a dear friend. I, I, I just, she was just a loving, dear person. She just was passionate about everything she did, and she wanted to bring people together to help further the interest that she had, particularly breast cancer awareness. If there is one person that I want to emulate besides my mother, it is Reba Ragsdale. She is everything, was everything, that I want to be. You meet people in your life, oh dear. You meet people in your life who have such a positive impact on you, but it isn't just about you, it's also about others. And Reba's impact on so many others, individually and within organizations, her volunteerism throughout her life, uh, this is a better community because of Reba. It is my honor, my privilege, to carry on 
what Reba did, to be that next person, to be the one that sits down and listens and says, Reba, thank you. Thank you for caring. Thank you for showing us what a survivor looks like. Thank you for giving us hope. This one's for you, Reba.